Hello folks, now it's the turn of paper 5 because our paper 5 exam is fast approaching, it's in the next week. So I have done a paper here, it is 2019 May June paper 5 1 and the question number is 2. Uh, it says that a student is investigating a rotary variable resistor as shown in figure 2.1, it's uh, available in uh, many, many devices here. For example, when we have to uh, change the volume of a certain uh, old radios, we are using this device. Or when we change the bass and the treble also, we are using this thing. The variable resistor is connected to a battery of electromotive force EMFE and uh, negligible inter resistance, so we need to, ne we need to uh, neglect it. The student uses a protractor to measure the angle theta through which the spindle of the variable res res resistor is rotated. So when you operate it like this, it like this. So a protractor will be used to measure the angle. And it regards the current I. The experiment is uh, repeated for different angles, several angles. It is such that uh, uh, I, I is the current, and theta are related by the equation E equal to I K theta, where K is a constant quantity. A graph is plotted of 1 by i on the y-axis against uh, uh, theta on the x-axis. So we have to determine and explain for the gradient. So since we have got 1 by i in the y-axis, we must uh, change the equation as uh, 1 by i is equal to k theta by e. Since we have y in the, uh, we have uh, theta on the x-axis, we have to separate this theta. So it's equal to, or I can say, or 1 by i is equal to uh, k by e and then theta so I have a separate this theta so this will be in the x-axis this will be in the y-axis and this is a constant thing it should be m so that means the gradient of this thing should be is equal to k by e k by e now in the next page and uh, the next question we have we have as usual the table here values of theta and i are given in figure 2.3 so this is the figure table so theta is in degrees i is in milliampere and 1 by i is in ampere ampere reciprocal so this is the data uh, in theta we don't have ones already given but in uh, current it is, we have already given here so though it is 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 it's uh, 0 0.1 milliampere and the values also are in milliampere. So our job is to find the value of one by i, one by i, and then and then uh, express the uncertainty as well. So first, uh, what we do is uh, when we have got uncertainties or errors, we first need to express the errors first, and then only uh, we have to then only uh, we can go for the uh, main quantity. So the error in one by i will be given as so let me uh, just uh, use uh, another extra sheet here to calculate the error here the error here so uh, what happens is we need to find the error in 1 by i so delta in 1 by i by 1 by i will be equal to delta i by i so it is the mathematics of errors so this gives us delta in 1 by i is equal to delta i by i into this 1 by i that's equal to delta i by i square. So it is delta i by i square. So delta of one by i is equal to delta i by i square. So now, now when I calculate the value for the first thing here, so the, for the first thing, I will have this uh, uh, delta one by i will be equal to equal to delta i is zero point one into ten to the power minus three because of being milliampere. And this i is uh, 5.7 into 10 to the power minus 3 and then it's square so this will be equal to this will be equal to equal to, equal to so if i do it in the calculator i'll have uh, so uh, 0 0.1 exponent minus 3 divided uh, 5.7 exponent minus 3 squared so this will be equal to equal to 3.078 3.078 so this quantity when written in 2SF uh, so we have to express the uncertainty in either 1 or 2 but uh, uh, since um, we need a precise graph or we need a present in graph so I would better use a 2 and uh, don't be confused uh, expressing in 2 is also correct and 1 is also correct but not more than 2 so this will be this will be plus minus 
plus minus 3.12 SF. Now, I need this 1 by i, so it will be equal to, uh, so uh, 1 by i, so 1 by i is equal to, 1 by i is equal to simply 1 by this uh, 5.7 into 10 to the power minus 3. So 1 by i is equal to, i is equal to, equal to 175.243859 and so on. So now what we need to do is, since I have got this uh, error uncertainty over here, like this, 3.1, so let me write it here, 3.1. So I must, I can write only up to this quantity. All these things should be, should not be written. So I can write only up to this quantity because it is the starting digit for the answer. So it should be equal to, so when I round it off here, when I round it off in, at, at this uh, uh, digit, it will be equal to 175. So the first quantity is 175 plus minus 3.1. Now if somebody, uh, somebody is a, a rigid person, uh, he or she says that uh, if uh, I'll express error in only one digit, so if, for, for those person it will be equal to 175 plus minus 3 only. If somebody is rigid on using only one SF in the uncertainty, for them it should be this. So we can, uh, we can do the same thing here, the same thing here, till the fourth uh, quantity, uh, the type of error is same. So I have done it in a uh, rough here previously. So the quantity will be equal to, this is a 213 plus minus uh, 6.2. This is a 250 plus minus uh, 6.2. So this zero is also uh, the value obtained from calculation is not rounded off thing. Uh, so then next next is 286 uh, plus minus plus minus 8.2, 8.2. Now in the fifth and sixth rows, the quantities are slightly uh, different it's because when I calculate the error here, the error comes to be equal to, so it is uh, delta i is uh, 0.1 exponent minus three divided the quantity is um, the quantity is uh, 3.1 exponent minus 3 squared so this error will be equal to error will be equal to delta in 1 by i for the fifth quantity will be equal to 10.4058 so if i use 2sf then i will have 10 only so this is slightly different it is 1 0 there is no decimal because i need only 2sf then 1 by i is equal to, so 1 by i is equal to, uh, i is, uh, we have uh, uh, 3.1 exponent minus 3, so it is 1 by i, so it is reciprocal, this reciprocal gives me, gives me, gives me, gives me 322.58064, so, so when I use it over here, so we have got this error as this, 1, 0, so this is the starting digit of the uncertainty, so I, I have to write, only up to this and uh, round up all the other quantities round up all other things so it should be equal to 3 2 then when rounding off it will be 0 so this should be 3 2 0 there is a difference between this 0 and this 0 this 0 has up been obtained because of rounding off and this 0 is the it's it's a real value so these two are different now in the fourth thing I will have the error uh, sixth thing I'll have the error as one four and this quantity will be equal to 370 and here also this is zero is because of uh, uh, rounding off so when I do calculation it is uh, zero and with rounding off also it becomes zero so this is calculated rounded off but this zero is it was calculated and after rounding off also it, be, it will be zero so you can try by yourself try your, your own calculations as well so this should be the form of the table so if uh, something different than this then you are not right but uh, as i uh, said previously also if somebody is adamant on adamant on uh, uh, expressing this thing in <coughs> uh, error in one sf only so it will be equal to 175 plus minus 3 Two two one three plus minus six, uh, two fifty plus minus six. Oh, sorry, uh, I have uh, I have made an error here. Uh, I did a mistake while calculating. So this is four point five five actually. This is four point five. 
please excuse me for that so this 4.5 so this is uh, so 4.5 uh, exactly uh, point, uh, point so is the quantity was equal to uh, 4.5 or something like this so it was the quantity was uh, 4.527 so when I round it off here it will be equal to 5 it will be 5 because it is uh, more than half so 6 here yeah, it is a uh, 286 plus minus 8 now I have to go for 1SF so it should be equal to 10 plus minus 320 and again 10 plus minus 370 so this table should be there if you are expressing the quantity the error the uncertainty in 1SF only in 1SF only so 356 8 10 10